the Galapagos Islands. Some of the reptiles that live here are particularly skillful at solving the problems of getting their energy directly from sunshine. Marine iguanas face a major thermal challenge every morning of their lives. During the night, their bodies cool, and now they must warm up quickly in order that they can become active and start feeding. Their bodies and skins are black, which is very efficient at absorbing heat, and they bask with their black flanks broadside to the sun. The rate at which they absorb warmth is invisible to the naked eye, but very clear indeed to a thermal camera. First thing, they're cold and purplish blue, but slowly as they warm up, a golden glow spreads through their bodies. And eventually, after half an hour or so, they become as hot as the rocks beneath them. Once they're thoroughly warmed up, Marine iguanas can maintain their body temperature just about as constantly as I can, and what's more, at about the same level, or indeed slightly higher, around 37 degrees centigrade. Now they need to feed. There's nothing to eat on or around these barren rocks except seaweed, and to get that, they'll have to swim. But the sea around here is surprisingly cold around 15 to 16 degrees centigrade. And only the bigger iguanas can absorb enough heat to power the dives to enable them to go to the seaweed at any depth. However, their bodies are now thoroughly warmed up. The thermal camera shows them as golden yellow as they clamber down over the cold blue rocks and dive into the sea. Although their islands lie almost exactly on the equator, the sea here is permanently chilled by a cold current that sweeps up from the depths of the ocean so they won't be able to stay in the water for very long. They have no time to waste. In the shallows, close to the shore, the seaweed has been heavily cropped. To get a good meal, they may have to dive to at least 15 feet, five meters. They're able to reduce the chilling effect of the cold water by closing down the blood supply to their limbs and the outer part of their bodies. But even so, their body temperature may drop by 10 degrees or so. A cooling like that would kill a human diver. After five to 10 minutes on the sea floor, most iguanas have had enough, and they return to the surface and the life-saving warmth of the rocky shore. A recently emerged iguana is black. It's chilled to the bone. Now they need heat in order to be able to digest that meal of seaweed. And they get that by spread-eagling themselves on these black, hot, sun-baked rocks. Their image warms from black purple, and then from red to orange. In the evening, the temperature falls, and they huddle together to retain their warmth as long as possible. They will have to wait until the following morning before they can rewarm themselves sufficiently to feed again.